Hi everyone, my name is Jade Calver. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be talking about COVID restrictions for traveling to Canada in October 2021. Before I start, be sure to check out my 2021 Moving to Canada guide where I go through the ins and outs of moving to Canada. So as of October 2021, uh, Canada still does have some COVID restrictions in place for travel to Canada. As of September 7th, 2021, so just last month, we did have uh, some easing of border restrictions. So that's where we've seen the Canadian government allow fully vaccinated travelers to travel to Canada. So what exactly does this mean? You need to meet a few criteria still to enter Canada, even as a regular visitor. But one of those is that you must be eligible to enter Canada. If you need a TRV, you have to have a TRV. If you need an ETA or if you're American, you can just come in. You have to have no signs or symptoms of COVID-19 before you enter Canada. So what that means is that you have to have a PCR test to test negative for COVID before you can board a plane. You also need to have received one of the accepted vaccinations for Canada 14 days prior to travel to Canada. So this is really important because you can't have, if you get the vaccination a week before coming to Canada, Unfortunately, that won't work. It has to be 14 days before you uh, come to the country. You have to upload and use the Arrive Can app. So this is an app for your smartphone that you upload your proof of negative COVID test and vaccination to and include your travel plans in. That's used by the Canadian Border Service Agency to check that you are eligible to come to Canada. The accepted vaccines for Canada as of today are the Pfizer vaccine, Moderna, AstraZeneca, as well as the Johnson & Johnson. In addition to this, so we did see some suspended flights. Morocco, as of today, are still are facing flight suspensions. The government has eased its flight restrictions for India. So travelers from India who meet the travel exemptions are actually able to travel at this time. I will note a few other things that if you're in Canada and are trying to flag pool, so that's where you're approved for a visa in Canada, but you need to enter Canada. So that's where people go to the border and, you know, go around the pool where they go into the US and come back. Visitors who are here who do not need a visa. So everyone who has an ETA and American citizens are now able to flag pool with their work permit and study permits. In addition, I still will note that if you are traveling with certain types of permits, so that be a work permit or a study permit, you still will have to apply for that authorization to travel. So there is a little bit of confusion still. Visitors are able to come in. If you're a closed work permit holder, you can come into Canada. If you have an open work permit and you don't have a job offer, or if you have children that are accompanying you, you'll need to get authorizations to travel for them still before you come to Canada. That's everything for today for my COVID-19 travel restriction update for Canada. Again, this is for October 2021. The restrictions and rules are constantly changing, so do double check the restrictions before you try to enter Canada. If you have any questions about immigration in general to Canada or more specifically the restrictions that I have talked about today, please don't hesitate to get in touch. I am online at calverimmigrationservices.com.